Hello, my dear viewers. It is April 15th, a traditional review of the events on the fronts of the Ukrainian war. We will start it from the Cheretinsky direction, where the main events took place yesterday. Our troops continue to crush the enemy. They literally squeeze him out of at least one stronghold here every day. They achieved quite a significant result yesterday. They marched along the main watershed ridge for more than one kilometer, entrenched themselves in the Garden Partnership, where two railway lines converge in the direction of the village of Okretina, the key point of the watershed of this fortified area for which the main battle is taking place. A little earlier, our troops attacked a little bit to the east in the direction of Knovokalinov, reached the southern edge of the settlement, took the southeastern part of the settlement and cut it off from the eastern part, and now moving along the railway. We approached, well, at a distance of less than a kilometer, 200 meters to the village of Okiretin. Moreover, continuing attacks on the forest plantations, they also took one important stronghold of the enemy north of Berdici, thus cutting off the Berdici grouping of the enemy from his, well, rather, there is no grouping as such there, there is only one stronghold left, Predikak, so cutting off the supply of this stronghold in order to thus complete the liberation of Berdici and neighboring Semenka, in order to finally break through this line of defense, the strongest, in fact, the position, and thus further develop the offensive on Ocheretin in the rear of the enemy grouping that defends Umanskoye. That is, yesterday our troops achieved a significant result here. The work of aviation and artillery continues. I understand that fighting will continue today in this sector, as well as in the neighboring one located to the south. Our troops are gradually beginning to increase pressure in the Karlovsky direction. There were already battles yesterday around the village of Nitailovo, that is our... The troops, after regathering and liberating Pervomaskoye, are trying to establish themselves on Nitailov's territory and also break through the last line of defense that the enemy has between Umanskoye and Nitailov, are also working aviation artillery. I am really hoping for good news from this sector. That is, the entire former Avdiivka sector is thundering noisy, our troops are constantly moving forward, no less important events are happening in the area of Chasivyar, our troops finally left. Almost the lines south of Chasivyar to the canal line, there is a very important gully that runs along the canal neighborhood, goes under this very canal, which flows here through pipes, or rather, water used to flow through pipes here. It does not flow now because the canal has not been working since the 22nd year, and most importantly, the gully of Stupki Golubovsky, it goes into the southernmost part of Chasivyar. Along it is very easy to cross it as a canal line, so go deep into to this very micro district of the canal, as well as in general to the flank of the entire Chasovers horn of the enemy. And here I repeat, our waxes achieved a significant result yesterday in general. They have already reached the channel line. The enemy is still holding positions to the west of the canal, and accordingly we wish our guys success, because this is a very important area. Yesterday there were also battles inside the canal micro district. Our troops passed through a little forward. We took one street. The enemy is trying to knock us out of there with counterattacks. There is a very fierce encounter battle, and we will also wish the guys success, as in the neighboring one in the Dacha area, where very fierce fighting is also going on. Yesterday, our troops for the first time tried to enter the micro district. They took something, but unfortunately, not everything worked out. A little to the north, while the fighting subsided, the main there were polling stations yesterday. This is the center and south of the canal micro district in other areas of the Sevaskoya direction. Continue fighting in two places. This is in the area of the excavation in the Bailahorivka area. Unfortunately, yesterday there was no progress. Also, very fierce fighting, in my opinion, did not stop. Although without much progress in the area Krasnohorivka, I said a little earlier that the fighting has begun. This is also a section already, such as the border Karlovsky Krasnogorovsky, but so far, unfortunately, there has been no movement here either, Novomikhailovka so far. There have been no changes, as in the Buleda area in the Zaporizhia direction. 